Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Gillingham FC career mode. So as you can see, we have a friendly here against Rangers. Um, we're going to go ahead and sim it. We have Wickham, Barkley, Weston, Welpdale, um, Aki, Stones. They're just a few of the signings that we got. Apparently Welpdale's injured and Aki is as well. So that's just a fantastic start. Um, and that'll be brilliant. So Chris Welpdale's out for two months and five weeks. Holy Christ. The worst possible start to the season. We're not even in it yet. So transfer offer accepted for Casper Schmeichel. That's what I wanted to see. I'm going to go ahead and offer 25000 a week um, and a four-year deal for Casper Schmeichel till he's 30 and a crucial first-team player. Um, it's already too far of a step down for him, so hopefully you just go ahead and accept that um, before this preseason friendly. We have to change the club again um, just to, because of the injuries we just had, but other than that, I'm going to have to stick with what we got. So, we've got another friendly here against FC Mets. Um, now, I'm going to change a few of these players around because, like, I do not want them again to, to get injured. So, let's go. Matt Fish, you're going to play. Is it Matt Fish? I don't even know. Broken Mets at Arsenal. Uh, we'll bring Barrett on. And also, a Romeo. No, I don't want to bring Romeo on. Dak is going to come on for Welpdale. Um, and Welpdale, you were going to come off for Romeo because Romeo's are only right mid there. So Charlie Lee, I think you can play right. Yes, you can. Charlie Lee can. Let's bring Charlie Lee on the bench as well as he can play there. Marty was going to come on as well. Um, a Ross Barkley, I'd love to keep on, but, you know, it's just not going to work. Let's keep him on for this game. And then the next game, what we do is we'll uh, go ahead and actually um, take him off. So he's all fit and good for the day. Well, for the first game of the season. So let's go ahead and uh, sim this game against FC Mets. Um, and we will sim oh, two or Weston and Martial with the goals. Um, was on a loss. We haven't got any more injuries. Um, so that's not too bad. I've just gone ahead and uh, uh, wide these because, like, the super skipped them because I don't really want to see. It's just a friendly. It doesn't really matter what the scoreline is. So, you know. Um, but anyway, Kasper Michael has accepted £25,000 a week um, on a £1 million deal, um, which is fantastic. He is, I think, low 70s and above. Um, and hopefully he'll grow a little bit more as well. So let's go ahead and look at him. At 74 rated um, for £1 million, which is so good. I think that's such a good deal. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead. And uh, do this team quickly. So Charlie Smith is going to play. Um, McDonald, uh, Martial can actually stay there, I think. We've got a couple of days up until the the uh, first day of the season. So not too bad. Fish can come off. We've got uh, who else? Lee can play there as well. Um, and the rest can stay there up until we can do this. So how, how much money have we got left? We have got £9 million left. Um, to try and sign a couple of players, a couple of a winger would, wouldn't be too bad to be honest. Let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the BPL because um, there's Man United and Man City that have a lot of players and a lot of talented players as well. Maybe Yanazai, we can go ahead and exciting prospect. Um, how much should we? Just one million pounds. I don't want to overspend. If they rejected, they rejected. We've got plenty of time to hopefully try and get him, um, so that wouldn't be too bad. But other than that, are there any other players here that I wouldn't mind picking up? Um, Raphael would, um, I'd imagine, be a good signing, but uh, he's probably going to be way too expensive, and his contract's going to be a lot as well. So it's going to Manchester City. But Marcus Lopez is a good one for the future as well. He's uh, quite good. But when it comes to the end of the season, maybe we can just go ahead and pick him up on a, on a uh, free transfer. So that won't be too bad. Um, but anyway, Navas, Milner, Drury, Drury. Just go ahead and scout him. I don't actually know about him. He's got. Yeah, average stats, but we'll go ahead and, and scout him anyway. Him, we're just going to leave. He seems really bad um, stats-wise. So let's go ahead and do that. And we will see how this goes. So Liali, Liali, Nicola Liali. He is on loan. We're going to add him to our shortlist anyway. And uh, we'll go on from there. But anyway, let's go ahead and skip to the friendly and see what happens. But anyway, Martial, we're just going to go ahead and uh, go with that against Brighton. Um, hopefully, we sh this, should, this may be a comfortable victory. Um, I'm not too sure. We put quite a weak side out. So, yeah, Stone's got red card. Um, we did draw, which isn't a loss. We, uh, we've lost one and drew two, so it isn't too bad of a start, um, considering I haven't actually been playing it. So, let's go ahead and sim. Hopefully, we'll come up with a few of these things here. Transfer offers, because the sum is too low. So, let's go ahead and uh, offer it a little bit more then. Yeah, let's go ahead and not 11 million. Christ. Um, we're going to offer 383. 
Um, six, nine. The reason why I do that is just to try and level the money out. You can't do the last one, so um, just to try and level the money out. Transfer offer for Aaron Milbank. He uh, wants to go on loan. Yep, sure. Sligo Rovers. Sligo Rovers. I've never heard of them. He's going to go anyway. He's 54 overall, I believe that was. So, you know, um, I was carrying a little bit of an up, but it's all cleared up. Um, I'm not going to risk you, Barrett. We've already run out of a defender that we need. So, you know, 4.7 million pounds. 4.7. 3.38369. 69. <laughs> Um, let's go. Alright, so we've got a first home game against Brentford. We're going to jump into this one. Um, hopefully, we can put all of our good players out. A couple of them are actually going down, which is sad to see. But uh, hopefully, we can uh, just get the hell over it and start to play. So, let's go ahead and put Ross Barkley on. Connor Wickham's going to come on. Um, who else? Is there anyone else that we can chuck on at the minute who's not on and who should be? So, Romero. Uh, Welp does injured. Aki. As well, so we've got a few players here that I don't want. German, uh, German, German, um, or German. Um, either way, um, I do not want to keep him at the club. He is what 21 years old and 59, uh, 59 um, overall, which is just not good enough. Adam Birchall, like I've already said, is 28 years old and he's also 59 overall. So those two, I'm really looking to offload. If they don't go by the end of the season, uh, by the end of the uh, transfer window, I'll try and see whether I can release them, um, even if it costs me like 100000 or whatever. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this game, and um, I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, we're back with our first home game against Brentford. This is obviously a big game, first league game. Obviously, we want to get off to a good start. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can. So, Brentford. Gillingham versus Brentford with our professional debuts of Ross Barkley. Connor Wickham, we got what, like, um, who else we got? We got John Stones as well, um, we got Casper Schmeichel playing, oh, this is going to be good, this is going to be good, let's go, look at that pressure from Barkley, that pressure from Barkley, come on, let's get it, yes, come on, Barkley, Connor Wickham, through ball, it's Connor Wickham, oh, that was poor, that's poor, wow, Miles Weston still managed to get it, with his pace, Seriously, that guy is so quick. That's probably the only reason why I use him. He's so quick up, uh, up the line. But other than that, nothing happened to that, which sucks. Um, quite a poor pass there, actually. I'm not actually sure who that was. But it was quite a poor pass either way. Um, but let's continue anyway. Come on, Dak. Come on, Dak. Come on, Dak. Use your pace. Connor Wickham's running in. Find him. Go on, Connor Wickham. Oh. Oh, Ross Barkley managed to get it. Falls to Lee. Find Ross Barkley again. Come on, don't stop the play yet. Ref, don't stop the play yet. Ross Barkley! Ross Barkley! Look at him, he's crying. Mate, you're right. Guess what? I'm going to try and fall over you. Right, come here, come here. Let me fall over. Oh, no, I kicked him in the head instead. Oh, he's injured, though. He's definitely hurt. Um, but let me score first and let me celebrate first, all right? McCormack. McCormack. So what a finish from Ross Barkley there. That is, uh, that is Premier League style. Premier League style. Damn. It's a foul ref. Get him off the pitch. Get him off the pitch. Get him off ref. Get him off the stinking pitch. Look at that. He could have broken my legs. He couldn't have, but we're going to stick with that story anyway. Right, come on, Martin. Let's go. Anything going to come from this? No, no it's not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Casper Schmeichel. Casper Schmeichel, you freaking little beast. Look at he managed to actually get that away somehow. Connor Wickham. Connor Wickham, come on. Come on, Connor Wickham. Come on, Connor! Connor! How far was that? How far was that? Connor Wickham, bang. How far away was that? Just over the bar. That really didn't do much justice, that that replay there. But, by the way, very close to making it 2-0. Uh-oh. Hewitt. Hewitt. He was, he was caught out of position. Oh, just wide. Hewitt. That is not what I wanted to see. Cass may have to be an option if he keeps playing like that. That was terrible. Bad position in there. Oh, what the... Hewitt, man. I'm gonna. If I could discard you, well, I could. 
release you, I guess, but I'm not that horrible. And besides, that cost me, so it just I'll just lose from it. But whatever, we'll pass it back out to Hewitt anyway. Hewitt, if you mess this up, I'm going to be married. I'm going to be married. Pass it, thank you. Is this going to be half time? Miles Weston. Miles Weston tries to find Barkley. Oh, nearly fell to him. Nearly. Nearly fell to him. Very close. Oh, it falls back to Wickham. 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 What can he do? Wickham crosses it in, and it's a corner kick. Couldn't really do much there with Wickham. I had two players there. I couldn't really move back. I would have got tackled. But anyway, let's cross this in. Linganzi crosses it in, tries to find Barkley. Doesn't, but it falls back to Lee. Who then through balls it to Dak, who then loses it. Because, uh, you know, it's not wrong. But anyway, is, it gonna, is the ref going to bite for half-time? Yes, he, I was just about to say she. Yes, he is. So, half-time, we are one nil up um, in our first home game. Uh, not much really happened in the first half. It could be worse, I guess. We did score. Um, we, we had a couple of chances. Ross Barkley off to a fantastic start with a goal, um, even though it went over the player who died on the pitch. But, either way, we're doing well. Hopefully, we can continue this for the second half. I may, no, for now, we're going to keep Dak on. Um, but in the future, we may have to pull him off due to the fact of uh, fitness. So let's uh, continue anyway. Off to the second half. And uh, Ross Barkley's off to a fantastic start. Oh, I just couldn't quite get it shot off. A fantastic block from their defender. Come on, Connor Wickham. Connor Wickham goes to the far post. And lovely. What a goal. Lovely tuck in from Connor Wickham. Beautiful. What a goal that is. Look at this. Just. Bang, far post, past the keeper, just creeps into the bottom corner. Lovely finish from Connor Wickham. So Connor Wickham and Ross Barkley have both scored in their debuts. That is just insane and a fantastic start to this season and a fantastic start to our home fans. So let's uh, hope if we can continue this run and not concede, let's try and um, get a clean sheet from this match for Casper Michael's first debut game. So by the looks of it, they're making a substitution. Donaldson on. Um, I'm not sure who's coming off. Dallas, maybe. Dallas by the looks of it. Um, who looks to be coming off. Um, so maybe I should really follow in their footsteps and make a substitution as well. Because even at half time, Dak had low energy. So having uh, low energy now would probably be even worse. So Dak's energy isn't actually that bad. Ross Barkley's energy is probably the worst in the team at the minute. Um, so rather than risking injury for Ross Barkley, he's had a fantastic game. Let's go ahead and put um, Connor Smith on as well. So look at the stats. He's uh, he's good in his first debut game. He scored, so I couldn't really ask any more of him. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and take him off um, the pitch and save his energy. There he goes, Ross Barkley cheering as he walks off the pitch. Fantastic start for Gillingham. Fantastic. Couldn't have asked for a better. Now, sorry, another thing. Uh, sorry if I actually uh, skip the cutscenes and if it winds you up. I'm I'm so used to like just pressing A on the cutscenes because normally I don't watch them. Um, so if you want me to to play them all, and normally I forget. Um, but if you want me to play them all, then um, let me know in the comments because I obviously will do if you'd like me to. Connor Wickham, please get up. Thank you. Um, so yeah, obviously will do if you want me to. But for now, if I do skip them, then I'm uh, sorry. Go on, that's a perfect goal. What a goal. Connor Wickham, lovely, lovely cross. Who is that, Smith? He's only just come on. He's, <laughs> he's only just come on. I subbed him off for I subbed him on for Ross Barkley. And Connor Wickham puts in that fantastic ball and he just heads it past um, the goalkeeper there. I'm not actually sure who the goalkeeper is, so sorry for that. But what a header. And what a cross. Want to wake him off to a fantastic start. Uh oh, no, no! They've gone ahead and scored. What a stupid idea for bringing the goalkeeper out there. What a lovely little tap in from um, who was that? Oh, oh god, it had to be the person with the longest name ever. Diagaruga, Diagaraga, him. All right, a lovely little finesse shot past Casper Schmeichel, puts it three-one. Um, it's pretty ridiculous to be honest. Oh, I would have loved to... Ref, get out of my way. I would have loved to have uh, kept it a clean sheet, but sadly it doesn't... Well, it's not going to be. It doesn't... It's not that it's not looking it, because it can't be now. But um, either way, it's still 3-1 with nine minutes to go. So pretty pleased with the result so far. Hopefully we can keep it up until the end of the game. 
Oh, what a save from Casper Schmeichel there. I was worried there because I didn't know whether he's going to pass it back, um, like cut back, or just go for the shot. But he went for the shot, um, and Casper Schmeichel gladly had that covered. Thank God for that. But it falls back to him, and Casper Schmeichel picks it up pretty easily. Let's throw it out and uh, see what we can do from this. And we go ahead and lose it. That's what we can do. I tried to throw ball that back to Wickham. It didn't quite work. Oh, nearly fell to him though. Nearly. Does fall to does fall to Connor Wickham. Falls to Dak. Dak with the guy with the low stamina. That's a free kick. That's a free kick. Give me that free kick. Come on. That's a 90th minute free kick. Can we get a 90th minute cheese free kick goal? I already know how to do this, but I'm not, I don't like doing that anyway. So, who's got the best free kicks? Okay, we can't get we can't get a 90th minute cheese free kick goal. This uh, just isn't going to work because that free kick stat sucks. We're just going to try and smash it past. Oh, that nearly went in. Come on, Wickham, man. Unlucky. Unlucky. They're very close, actually. And the, the goalkeeper didn't really do anything with it. But either way, let's continue. Hopefully, you blow the whistle after this, actually. Because um, it is 90th minute, so hopefully... Yeah, there he goes. 3-1 home win. Um, I'm quite... I'm not annoyed, but I'm quite disappointed to have conceded the goal but um, Connor Wickham off to a fantastic start what did he like score one he scored one and assisted one um, as well as Ross Barkley scoring one as well and uh, the only reason I let off Ross Barkley is because he had to um, he was just dead on stamina but anyway let's continue and, um, and let's find out what else happened all right guys so we have this game um, in the Capital One Cup against Bradford, we are at home once again. So hopefully, in the next episode, we will see that game against Bradford City. They have got a decent side and probably meant to finish in the table with us as well. Probably around about mid-table. But hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this second episode. If you have, please go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already as well. Because then that's when um, updates post and stuff like that of when the next episodes come out. So hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Later. Bye.